Now, let's say you have created an Apple ID long time ago, and now you may want to change the email address that you're using to log in. It is possible to do so, but you'll need to know some things about it. Yes, it is possible to do, but chances are that you have the two-factor authentication turned on for your account. If you have it enabled for your Apple ID, you will need to verify your identity by entering the verification code that is sent to your new email address. So before we begin with this tutorial, make sure that you have access to the device or phone number associated with your Apple ID as you will need this to receive the verification code. So you can do it from any device, but you'll need to do it through the web browser. So either on the iPhone or on the computer, but you can't just set it up in the settings somewhere. So fire up Safari and open up the appleid.apple.com. There, you'll need to log in with your iCloud or Apple ID account. As I said, you'll also need to confirm your identity, so go ahead and do that. Once you are inside, you can see that we are now inside the sign in and security section. Here is where you can set things up. There is the button that says, Apple ID, but there is also the one, notification email. So it's technically possible to still use the very same email for Apple ID, but just receive information and notifications on a different account so you can have two emails or even more added to the Apple ID. But to change the one you use to log in, you need to click on Apple ID, and the only option you'll have is to replace the current email address with a new one. So you just type in a new email address and hit confirm. You will, however, need to confirm your identity, so there will be a code sent to that specific email address. So you'll need to log into your mail and report the code back on this website. After all this, your Apple ID should be officially changed to a different email address. Okay, but that's not everything. When changing the address like this, you should know that if you use iCloud services or have an iCloud email address associated with your Apple ID, changing your email address will also change the email address associated with your iCloud account, so it's pretty much the whole package, the entire thing gets changed. Also, if you have any subscriptions, purchases, or services associated with your Apple ID, they will continue to be associated with your account after you change your email address. So all the payment methods, purchases, history, and subscriptions will remain the same, only the actual email will be different when logging in. And if you are a developer user and have an Apple developer account, you will need to change your email address separately in the Apple developer program portal. So that's a bit different, and I'm not gonna be getting into that in this video. So I really hope that this video has helped you out. If you found this video valuable, definitely hit the like button on it. For more tutorials similar to this one, and also about some other devices in your ecosystem, make sure to subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel, where I'll publish many videos like this one in the future. Have a great rest of your day, and we see each other in the future. Peace.